Well, all right. Let's get this over with and see how bad I messed this up. I moved it over to the side so it don't leak. But here it is. Yep. Let's see how much of this I can pull out. Being, you know, a new cup and all. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. There's some cool stuff. It's like pulling plastic off a new appliance, like a TV, man. And there's still some in there. It's, and if I touch it, it's going to be like. Is it on the outside? No. It's going to be like not cured. Because it won't even stick to this. Well, I don't know how that happens. It builds up over time. But look, we got a brand new cup. And we got curedness. Curedness? We have cured silicone. <laughs> and we also have rain coming. Hit the easy button. Put those in. Well, I'll put them in this cup. Put this over here again. Uh, I feel like I just did this yesterday. Wait, I did. <laughs> Bill, you idiot. <laughs> but you're funny. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I'm just stupid. But anyways, if you can't laugh at yourself, man, you can't laugh at nothing else in life. Which one says front? Let's see what I forgot to do this time. I told you I forgot to put in the uh, alignment pins last time. and Almost, dang it, dang it, almost forgot to grease the top. Now, uh, ain't that beautiful? <laughs> ain't that a peach? <laughs> Watch me turn this silicone mold into a fruit. <laughs> All right, Bill, got to stop. All right, so I recompose myself. Let's see how upset I'm going to be. So far, so good. What the heck is this little thing? Cleanliness. And common sense, my father always used to tell me. But hey, wait a minute, look, no leaks. Well, we had a little bit there. A teeny bit. Just a little. And that's cool, you know why? Because it'll cure and it won't leak next time. Alright, we've got we got a scalpel. We've got an extra long blade. Hey, did you watch Bay City Daryl today? Uh, he's got the top three turvy. I'm in it. I've got. Is that a mosquito or a gnat? I'm in it. I'm not up yet, man. He's just right now selecting the uh, top four. I saw that bug again. The top four. Uh, I. Don't think I put enough Vaseline in here. Yep. Bug always has to bother me. Uh, and we got rain on the way. Uh, so I better get this done today. Snip, snip here and a snip, snip there. And that brush doesn't do very well getting to all the corners either, man. Ah, another corner. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, man. <laughs> yep, and that one car drove off the bridge today at Bay City. <laughs> that was like from years ago. Yeah, Scooter Roundwell just drove off the damn cliff. And he was all by himself. Nobody pushed him. 
that was years ago. Uh, I don't know, maybe two. Dang it, Bill, what? You saw me put all this Vaseline on here. Now, you know I'm worried about these seats. They're going to be connecting both sides. Oh, man. All right, what, what can we... Ooh. Whoa! Oh! Well, golly gee, Batman. The nun just laid an egg. Uh, something like that. Alright. A lot of times, I'll keep these together, but they come apart after a while. Anyways. Now, we've got to clean this up. Not today. Put that in there. Crap, it filled it in, but you see it's very thin. That'll be easy to cut out. So, Bill, what are you going to do next? I don't know, man. I don't know. Take the clay out. Yeah, yeah, look how thin that is. We'll clean that up with some snips. It'll be easier than a knife. And clean this up make for a good pour you know but here you see the two seats and they did come apart how am I gonna get this out it went under it means I gotta make a flap I gotta cut something the only way to do that is remember what the hell I did because the inside is in here and I can't bring another one out. But guess what arrived today? It's halftime. Throw the sign, sign up there, Bill. Yeah, yeah. Halftime. Don't forget to do that. So this came today. I wanted to do two things. First... I want to check these tires for little rims and yes on the very very inside there's a teeny tiny lip hear that click but it's not the same on all the cars there's nothing on this tire let's check this tire am I on camera there's nothing on this tire Something there. How about this tire? So this is the only tire. Well, now I can't find it. Anyways. There's no lip. And the second thing, I need to take this apart to see where I need to cut this. Well, you know, it is silicone. I, I want to get this done before it starts raining. And when you slice silicone with the razor, it's very, very forgiving. And it'll seal back together. So I'm pretty sure it was straight down here. We get this out. You kind of see a line there already, right? Damn it. Let's twist this. Yes, I know it goes a little sideways. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it comes in somewhere. Yeah, you see that stress mark? Oh no, how am I going to get that back in there? The whole thing's going to be lead if I don't get this flap back in there. Now we got a little flap. 
If I cut it right, yeah. Uh oh. And the interior is in there too. Steering wheel, stuff like that. Oh boy, Bill, if you can mess something up. Let's do uh, a snip snip here. I better be on camera. I ain't doing this twice. No, nope, that's plastic. Arr. This ain't gonna work, man. Because he just cut. I could use super glue. I just cut where it's supposed to flap back over. That's right, Abby. I heard you. Oh. It's <laughs> It's an experiment. I got something else to cut here. Yeah, but see now this part is just going to pull right out. No. Ah, oh, yeah. There's the holes there. There's the hole. Alright, so what we do is bend it this way. And I can see it. I don't know if you can, but I can see it. The silicone stretches. Snip. Well, I don't know, man. Will it come out now? Wasn't there another hole? Oh, it was the two seats. Ah. Crap. So now, this and this got to get pulled through those two little holes for the inside seats. And it's very thin. So maybe if I do this. And you know, if I screw it up, I'll just do it again, man. <laughs> I'll do it again. I swear. Is there a... Uh... Okay, it's coming through. This guy, he's lost cause. Have to glue him back in. Right on that little dot right there. Glue him back in on that. That's where I just cut it. So we can't lose that. How am I going to get the lead out? Okay. Uh, I want these two to pull up. Oh man, I got to get the steering wheel out of here and all kinds of stuff. Oh no. Well, maybe if I pull it up and cut that too, I can glue those back on. And we'll just hope for the best. Yeah, look. Let's see. Can I see? Give me some light. I hope I'm not washing you out. Let's see. Where's the little back way here? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I knew this was going to be a problem. And there's another hole. Maybe that's better from this direction. Yep, there it is. I did it. So we had to cut this one and this one and the seats out. And somehow we got to put this back in. There's another hole. Dang it, sorry. This hole right here. Uh, huh. You know, life's an adventure. You don't know what you're going to do. 
or how are you going to do it until you try yeah I should have cut that steering wheel out uh, will it come through this way I cut that right it wants to go this is going to be a Frankenstein, man. Where's my tweezers? Now what? I didn't cut that either. Hey. It wants to go. Don't cut your fingers, Bill. In two pieces. Like that. Ugh. Well, that's great. How the hell does it go back together? Uh, that looks like part of the steering wheel. I don't know. I think... Oh uh, man, I think we're just going to put it back together and there's going to be a lot of grinding. That's got to go in, but I don't think the lead's going to get down there. Stretch, push. That looks kind of flat. I may need the air holes. This guy. Anyway, it's getting too long. That's, uh, I think it goes this way. Yeah, yeah, see that? So we might be successful after all. Uh, once this gets squished together, but, ah, oh, damn it, I did it again. Pull it apart. That flap needs to go in there. And then once you put it back together, Uh, I think it goes this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to clean up that clay. All right. We'll clean up the clay and little pieces here and there. And then, uh, and then we'll do a pour. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be tonight, man. Well, it ain't going to be tomorrow if I don't do it tonight. Uh, yeah, it fits back together pretty good. You see this lid, lid ridge right here? Get this light out of my way now. I can't even see the camera. Yeah, this ridge right here, which is this here, uh, right here, uh, goes that way, and that fits pretty damn good. So yeah, we're going to trim it up, because when you put it back in here, not this one, but the other one, you don't want these little lips here in the way, so we're not showing that, we're just going to cut them off. But yeah, that should be good, and I was thinking I want to do one more thing, which was, yes, the air holes coming from the axle holder upper rubbers. And yeah, maybe even back here. It's all solid, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to...
slice some lines up for air vents very small you know and then where's where's my thing this guy is this the one yeah 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 so what were these marks that was from the and then why they have to go for your eyes and then one here and then one here so it'll be four little air vents you'll we'll see how it works so I'm getting better at this <clears throat> here's the top now why am I getting better because you got to make those air holes to get the air out and you want these holes to be teeny tiny like that can you even see that right there that one's a little big I'm worried about it like I said I'm getting better now the top two come out the top which really not worried about the size oh, excuse me really not worried about the size get another beer bill yeah that one's empty because it's at the top of course so when the leads here the leads gonna be there and down here this guy I'm worried about at the bottom you know hopefully you know the lead will start cooling before it pours too far out and like I said I'm getting better and clean this where'd it go clean this up a little bit but some of this stuff needs to stay because it's part of the mold now back up Bill caught that one in time yeah, some of this stuff needs to stay because it's actually part of the mold now, so if it's loose, pull it out. If it ain't loose, leave it in. Alright. Need to fix this piece here. I don't think I've never used super glue. Get it aligned. You know, this piece right here. Get it lined up. Uh, pull it apart. Dang, nab it. Maybe I will use super glue. The trials and tribulations of Bill. Madman Bill. What? What did you just call me? madman why because you're mad for trying to do something that you've never seen or done before well you know that's what it takes crap that's what it takes try this again and then we'll try not to move it and I feel sorry for that dog you hear that dog barking that's their second dog that I know of and they leave it chained up outside in the backyard and it just barks and wants to go in the house and you know he does because he's been there before but selfish people they're like no we got company we don't want you in the house you shouldn't get a dog if you're going to do that to it you shouldn't get any pet you're gonna keep the poor puppy outside the, the other one died uh, out in the backyard I hate those people any people like that all right what was I gonna do we got those we're gonna put it back together make sure it fits take a peek you know, if I got to do extra grinding or sanding, 
I'll do it. Next thing to do is to trim these corners off and we'll do that off camera. I was supposed to send this to somebody. The Green Dragon. What do you think of that guy? Toyota Supra. Toyota GR Supra. Oh yeah, this is for uh, a comparison race, not a real race, just to compare. And I'm still thinking about these two guys here. Now, Mark says at Gravity Throttle, you know, a longer wheelbase keeps it from shimmying. Well, yeah, but I think the width might have something to do with it no they're the same width so that's wrong but yeah I think the tracks a little too wide in some spots where you know you get the single tracks down the snow drifts and whatever and they go like that but then you get other car uh, turns corners where only a guy like this will get through the dang on thing. I mean, this barely got through it. So I don't know. It might be another experiment there. We're gonna need another Timmy. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I, I still want to mod this guy too and send it in. But he's not as not as big like I was showing the other day. Almost a little shorter, well, pretty much the dang on same. That might not work. Anyways, we're gonna keep up with this guy. Where to go? This guy. And what I'm gonna work on next is take off these ridges. Put it on camera, Bill. Take off these ridges so it sits flat in the wood base, not this one. Here he is. And then, um, oh, yeah, I told you about the ridges. So, uh, he's good to go. We'll do this. I just said what I was going to do. Dang it. Oh, yeah, go get a beer. <laughs> we'll think about it. Thanks for watching. All right, like I said, I did it off camera. I got all these little lips off. It was hard to film and do this at the same time, but, you know, you just get started. You start pulling this. See, I can't even show you. And just pull this out and snip it off a little bit at a time. Now we have two perfectly flat surfaces that will go into the box where I'll clamp it together and we'll make a pour uh, speaking about pour it's gonna pour tomorrow thunderstorms heavy at times yeah 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 so uh, and that's enough for tonight for me we're gonna we're gonna get some graphite on this more graphite uh, and then ship it out to a friend. Yeah, Green Dragon. Uh, you, you could also call it Key Lime Pie, but uh, yeah, he's pretty good. The weight balance is totally different. So, be happy to see how that works. Still interested in this guy, but I think he's too long. And I think this guy is too short and too tall. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, this guy's a happy medium. He's low. I hope he ain't slow. So, anyways. All right. Thanks for watching. What we got to do? Oh, we got to do him right now. Let's do that off camera. 
make sure you have a pleasant evening. And if you haven't watched, watch Bay City Diecast Racing. Thanks. Hit that like button. It's right here. Subscribe's over here. See you later. I know that I'm mad. I've always been mad.